Welcome back to We The People News. Please subscribe, leave your thumbs up, and please leave your comments. First of all, thank you so much for all the support that you give me on this channel. I really do appreciate you for that. Thank you so much. Yesterday's video, if you did not see it, please go back and watch it. I will link it to the end of this video. There's a lot of good stuff in there I don't want you to miss, and it would help me out a lot. Thank you so much. Y'all, we got a couple of things to talk about today. Uh, how your vote matters and how your vote is counted. We have several things to talk about, but first I want to, I want to remind you, well, bring it to your attention. Y'all, anytime I talk about the Lion YouTube channel, you know who I'm talking about. Well, I was thinking about this. He cares so much about everybody's well-being. He cares about people so much. He makes four videos a day lying to you, making you think that you're going to get a stimulus check, making you think that your student loan is going to be paid for, making you think that you're going to get a raise on Social Security when the only raise that we're going to get on Social Security is the COLA raise next year, making you think all of these great things. And then he also does thumbnails like big announcement comes today. Just out big announcement. Y'all, let, let me ask you. These channels that's doing this, as a YouTube creator, we owe you the truth. We owe you the news. We owe you everything that we stand for on YouTube. You are the reason we're getting paid. We get paid to make these videos. Some people don't make as much. I don't make much at all. But some people make $2,000 a day. You know who I'm talking about. Well, he cares so much, but so far he has not mentioned the shooting at the elementary school in Texas. The only thing he can do is make you think you're going to get a stimulus check, make you think you're going to get a raise, make you think you're going to get all these great things. He's lying to you, and he don't give a damn about anything but getting your clicks so he can get rich. If he cared, he would address this shooting in this Texas elementary school. But that video don't pay as well as his lying videos do. Okay, y'all, I'm sorry I had to get that out. It's just, it's been bugging me. Okay let's talk about this how your vote counts how it could not be counted okay did y'all know that voting we all say that it's our right as an american well it's not always been a right at one time it was a privilege to be able to vote why is this because they wanted people with some with some skin in the game before they voted. Like you take these purple haired people with a earring in their nose and uh, you, all these drug dealers, all of these criminals. I mean, we have criminals that's voting. You take all of these people and their vote counts just as well as ours do. Well, back then, these low-life degenerates did not have the right to vote. It was a privilege. You either had to be married with a family or you had to own property or something. You had to have some skin in the game. Wish we could go back to that. A lot of young kids today, y'all, I, I have seen this in my own family. A lot of kids today, you bring them up and they see how you think. They see what you do. Uh, and you raise them good. But they want that one last little jab to rebel against you. So what do they do? They know you're going to vote for this person. They say, I'm voting for this person because I'm young and I know more than you do, Mom and Daddy. Uh, in fact, when they do this, it's just a rebellion against you, but it's also hurting our country.
Think about this. If you vote for this person and your child votes for this person, your child's vote just eliminated yours. Now we're back to neither one of you really voted. I really believe I've seen this in my own family. The young people don't feel the way this person is that they're voting for, but they don't think their vote matters. So they just vote either way. Well, they vote in the way that they know is going to just tick you off because you're voting the other way. And of course, the kids today are so much smarter than we are. They, they have all this life experience that they know everything and we know nothing. Y'all, I may be totally wrong on that, but I don't think so. Okay, and you also would look at it this way. The younger people is going to vote for the candidate that tells them they're going to give them all these free things. I mean, just look at what happened this time. Joe Biden promised all throughout his campaign that he's going to pay off the student loans. He wants to pay off $10,000 of everybody's student loans. Well, some a lot of people, that would completely wipe out their student loan. So if I can get my $10,000 student loan wiped out, I guess I'm going to vote for this person. That's how young people think. They think about right now. Yeah, it's great right now, but what will it do to, in the long run? They also think that, okay, I'm going to have some children. That'll get me stimulus checks that will get me food stamps the taxpayers can take care of me if they don't want to work they just don't work they come up with ways to get unemployment or they'll take a job for a month and slip down and act like they hurt themselves so they can get get out on sick leave and get money that way y'all you may think that I'm bashing young people, but I've seen this. I grew up working in restaurants. I've seen this stuff every day. I owned my own restaurant for a while. I've seen it. It happens. People will take a job just long enough so they can sue for something. Y'all... These kids look at this stuff this way. I mean, they don't really think they go in there and vote just to be against their parents. But in just a few short years, they start to wake up and then they start thinking for themselves and trying to fix the wrongs that their votes did to our country. Then we got what we have today. Y'all, but mostly it's the people like you. I, I hate to say this, but a lot of them over on YouTube, I mean, on uh, TikTok. You know, the purple hair, the rings in their nose. That's the type of people. That woke generation. They're the ones that's destroying this country, along with little Joe in his administration. Just something quick here. You know, every time little Joe or Kamato Harris talks out a term and says something that they're not supposed to say, the White House jumps right into action to cover up the words, to spin them to fit the narrative of today, and to try to recover what Joe Biden had done with his words. But y'all, it don't matter how quick the White House springs into action to take back the words that Joe Biden says. Since Joe Biden is acting president right now, his words means so much more than anyone else, supposedly. And once those words comes out of his mouth, there's not enough fixing that his administration can do. Because once the words come out, the damage is done. The other person that he's talking to, the other country that he's talking to, they will know it. Damage is done. You can't take back words. 
They're never forgotten. Y'all, please sound off in the comments below. And I'm sorry about the little rant at the beginning of the video, but I had to say it. There's not a, there's not a shortage over on his channel of forced stimulus checks and raises for Social Security. But nothing about the shooting. I found that disheartening. Y'all say a prayer for our country. Say a prayer for our world. Say a prayer for our people in Washington that are supposed to be doing the right things. Say a prayer for everyone around the world that's hurting through COVID, financial hardship, or any other affliction. Just know I love you all. Until tomorrow, ciao.